Shark Week. On the rag. The red one time. Red, 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 red wedding. Wedding. Red 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 wedding. Lady business. Pole. Period. Okay, let's talk about menstruation. Why do we use so many synonyms for something that happens every month? Somehow it's still taboo, something we don't like to call by its name. For no reason. So let's start from scratch. What is menstruation? The monthly bleeding is a part of a whole cycle which takes an average 28 days. But it can be normal if it takes between 21 and 35 days. And it starts with the first day of your menstruation. During this cycle, an egg cell matures inside a kind of casing called a follicle in one of the two ovaries. It is then released into the uterine tube and starts making its way down towards the uterus. If sperm cells come along, the egg can be fertilized. At the same time, the uterus prepares for a possible pregnancy. It grows nice, smooth tissue to welcome a potential fertilized egg. If the egg cell doesn't meet any sperm, the soft bed in the uterus isn't needed, so the body naturally removes it and the egg cell. That's the monthly bleeding. It's probably less than you think, only around 50 to 65 milliliters. You might wonder why menstruational blood doesn't seem like the blood which comes out when we cut our finger. The reason is that menstruational blood contains also some fluids from the vagina and some tissues uh, which grow uh, in the uterus when the body is preparing for a possible pregnancy. But if you're not getting pregnant, then the body decides to get rid of it. It's like taking off your winter clothes when summer comes. Or switching the light off when it's not dark outside anymore. Or opening the curtain for a new show. Well, you know what I mean. The start of a new cycle. Menstruation is not dirty or toxic. It's just a combination of some blood, cells and fluids that our body doesn't need anymore. And it's totally natural and nothing to be ashamed of. And definitely nothing to be disgusted by. If you don't feel well during your period, that's okay. Take your time. But if you feel fine, there's no reason having your period stop you from doing anything. I mean, you can still study, go shopping, do exercise, work, and even have sex. Of course you can have sex during your menstruation. Some women enjoy it even more on these days. But you can still get pregnant because a new egg may be already on its way. And blood doesn't protect you from infections. One big thing about periods, though, they can be pretty painful. The pain during the menstruation and before, it's real. It's no imagination. And it's totally normal. The uterus is contracting. I mean, it's working to push out what it doesn't need anymore. So don't be ashamed of that. Of course, there is so much more going on in your body. Hormones going up and down and playing around with each other. These four are the ones that influence our cycle most strongly. Estrogen, progesterone, the luteinizing hormone, or LH, and the follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH. Just before you ovulate, that's when the egg cell is released to go on its trip towards the uterus, the amount of estrogen in your body peaks. Estrogen makes the tissue in the uterus grow. It's not 100% clear how estrogen influences our psychology, but it seems to make us feel full of energy. After the egg cell is released, progesterone levels go up. Progesterone keeps the thick lining in the uterus as long as it's needed. It counteracts the tissue-growing craziness of estrogen, keeping it in check to prevent unwanted growth and cancer. The luteinizing hormone is triggered by the rise of estrogen. It starts ovulations and makes the egg cell leave the ovary. Last but not least, 
the follicle-stimulating hormone, it closes the cycle, or starts it if you like, because it makes a new egg mature in the ovaries. And it tells our body to produce some more estrogen, which then lets the tissue grow in the uterus. And here we are again. Of course, this whole up and down of hormones can influence our psyche quite a lot. You may feel also strong emotions. Some feel a little bit anxious, others a little bit down. That may be part of the PMS or premenstrual syndrome. The reasons for PMS aren't totally clear, but hormones definitely play a role. Physical symptoms can be tender breasts, acne, fatigue, and psychological ones. Anxiety, mood swings, crying spells. But girls, don't let anyone tell you that the way you're acting is just because of your period. Yes, these changes happen because of your changing hormones. But don't ignore them, they are still real, just a little bit stronger. So next time you bleed, instead of resenting it, you can embrace it and tell yourself, that's my body doing its job and it's all right. By the way, being on your period can make you fart more than usual. And if you get diarrhea, that's normal too. It happens to many women. That's because the hormones influence your digestion and can pop over to the neighboring bowel region. But it's natural. So if you feel like farting during your menstruation, you are not alone.